Bitcoin represents a way to transfer money anonymously and at almost no cost. And since it's an arbitrary currency with no nationality attached to it, you're free to exchange it with anyone in the world. What is money? Resources are limited and they hold explicit value to people. Most resources are physical and such needed to be traded in a physical form. Diamonds, gold coins, chickens or bikes. At some point, it becomes too difficult to physically transact those objects, and it's easier to agree, collectively, on the value of cash instead of gold. As we know today, this has many advantages. Credit cards and the modern banking basically gave us another abstraction layer on top of cash. There is a centralized system which defines who owns what resources. All of these trades are made virtually. This is the backbone of why Bitcoin is a valid idea. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is decentralized, anonymous, digital-only currency that recently received public attention. Bitcoin was originally developed in 2008. Like in any good mystery, someone using the alias Satoshi Nakamoto published a paper describing how Bitcoin could work. There's a very interesting story about this guy too. He must be very smart, but he never came forward to claim ownership or any part of the revenue. Just one year later, in 2009, Bitcoin started being traded. Where do they come from? Think about gold. You could buy it or mine it, and it's the same concept with Bitcoin. You do this by using your computer to hunt for 64 digit numbers. By having your computer repeatedly solve complex mathematical puzzles, you're competing with other miners to generate the number that the Bitcoin network is looking for. If your computer generates it first, you receive Bitcoins. The Bitcoin system is programmed to generate a fixed number of Bitcoins per unit of computing time. It is also self-sustaining, coded to prevent inflation, and encrypted to prevent anyone from disrupting its code. In the year 2140, the total number of Bitcoins in circulation will be capped at 21 million. So how much is a Bitcoin worth today? You'll need to Google it. Just type Bitcoin in US dollar, for example. You could also check it out at priv.com. Why are they anonymous? Bitcoin are pseudo-anonymous because they are built upon this centralized system. The Bitcoins themselves are anonymous, the wallets are not. Here is why. The base algorithm creates anonymity, but as the recent court cases show, if your Bitcoin wallet is identified and attached to a person, then someone can go through and track every transaction you've made. Bitcoins exist entirely on their own because there's no central infrastructure to shut down. You are identified by nothing more than your Bitcoin wallet address, a string of randomized letters and numbers. There are absolutely no identifying characteristic beyond that. For the paranoid dude, you can simply create a new wallet for each transaction. Here are some interesting startups that push the technology forward. We are still in the initial phase of Bitcoins, and there are many challenges and opportunities ahead exchanges, wallets, merchant services, security, and more. But this is something for another episode. Until next time, eat your vegetables and listen to your partners.